What's up everyone? I am working on my buddy's Tundra right now. We're in the process of installing a light bar behind the grill. I had a couple extra light bars laying around so I figured I would gift one to him since he's helped me on a lot of different projects. And we're going to be mounting it on this steel brace right here across behind the grill. I am using my nifty Agilux LED magnetic mount work light which as you can see is really illuminating the work area. He had an empty spot on his dash, so this is the button we fabricated. I simply used a Dremel or rotary tool to cut a spot out for this two-way button. He's going to be adding some other types of lights that are going to use the second button. So we used one position off and second position, and that'll mount right on the left side lower portion in a factory hole. So the purpose of this video today is to demonstrate why trucks are almost always a better buy than cars. And I think you'll agree with me by the time you're done watching this. So one of the chief complaints that pickup truck owners get, especially if you're the owner of a higher trim level truck, is should you have spent that much money on a pickup truck versus what else, right? An SUV, a car, a crossover, whatnot. So when you go out and you spend upwards of $60,000 to $85,000 on a pickup truck, you're generally going to be hit with people who don't believe that trucks have gone so high in price that they're worth that much. And I just don't understand that argument because if you're shopping for a vehicle and you were truly shopping for value, what offers you more bang for the buck than a pickup truck? at any price point. Whether or not you're looking at a Ford Fusion that costs $23,000 or you're looking at a Chevy Equinox that costs $30,000, do you really believe that those two vehicles offer you more value than a $30,000 pickup truck? Or do you believe that a $75,000 BMW or Lexus or Mercedes offers you more value for the dollar than a $75,000 GMC Denali, Ram Laramie Longhorn, or Ford King Ranch pickup truck? In my opinion, I don't think so. I don't think there is a single car or SUV that truly can offer you more value for the dollar than a pickup truck across any price range. Mainly because when you buy some of these other vehicles, they're mission specific. Let's break that down a little bit. You can absolutely make the claim that a compact car is going to get better fuel economy and move around more congested areas easier than a full-size pickup truck. I agree with that. And those are valid reasons to like cars and small SUVs and things like that. You can very easily make the claim that a medium to large SUV can haul around more people inside, such as, you know, folks with a large family. And I completely agree with that as well. Those are great reasons to own those types of vehicles. However, if you're looking at the most value for the dollar that you can spend on a vehicle, you would really be hard pressed to find any vehicle that can give you more utility, more capability, and more function than a pickup truck, especially a modern pickup truck. The claim can't be made any longer that you can get a car with more technology features, more comfort features than you can get in a pickup truck. One of the reasons why you're seeing so many different types of packages becoming available on pickup trucks is that the pickup truck manufacturers are really trying to bridge the gap between the perception that a truck is only designed for work and the folks who basically say, well, I need a pickup truck and now I need a mid-sized sedan that's more comfortable or has more technology features or is going to give me more value in this particular category. The reality behind buying a pickup truck now is that you get a lot of the features, a lot of the technology and benefits of a modern sedan or SUV, but in a far more capable and utilitarian type package. There is no car on the road that will give you the storage capabilities as well as the function and the size of a pickup truck. 
quite frankly, I don't care what vehicle you buy, you're not gonna have that capability. Let me give you an example. You could go to a full-size Cadillac or a full-size Lexus or Mercedes, and you would be very hard-pressed to find any model of any of their vehicles in any size that will give you the same rear leg room that you get in a full-size pickup truck with a crew cab or a Ram with a mega cab. It's just not available. So to make the argument that you're gonna get more interior space in a luxury sedan isn't a valid argument. Also, the width of pickup trucks, especially full-size pickup trucks, are gonna be significantly wider. So you're gonna have more hip room, you're gonna have more shoulder room, and you're gonna feel as if you're in a larger cabin than you would if you were in a car. Also, if you're looking at an SUV, yes, there are all sorts of SUVs that are available, from crossovers to midsize to full-size to um, all sorts of different combination types of SUVs. And yes, the argument can easily be made that you get a lot of value in an SUV because you can haul more people, plus it gives you an enclosed cabin area as well as storage. But if you look at the specs, if you look at the towing numbers, if you look at the payload numbers and the overall cargo space, still not even close when you're comparing it against a full-size pickup truck. So there's another reason why a pickup truck really offers you more value than any other vehicle on the road. And I think that most people who are against owning a pickup truck simply are because they think it's large and because they think it uses a lot of fuel. In many cases, pickup trucks offer better fuel economy than SUVs do. There are SUVs that have small engines or hybrids that give you ridiculously good fuel economy numbers, and there's a niche for that. If you are a fuel economy person, if that's what matters to you, if what matters to you is the number of people you can fit inside of a vehicle and maximizing that as much as possible, if what matters to you is having the smoothest, most luxurious ride on the road, then a car or an SUV might be a good fit for you. But if what matters to you is getting the most value for your dollar across any price range, a pickup truck is always going to win. Hello. Yes, ma'am. How are you doing? You too. You can't log in, okay? If you are shopping for a $75,000 to $80,000 Corvette Z06 and you are trying to compare that value versus a $75,000 to $85,000 F-250 Super Duty, or GMC Denali, or Ram Laramie Longhorn, or Limited. You will not find the value in that Corvette unless you specifically want it for speed. It doesn't have the cargo, it doesn't have the utility capability, you can't drive through adverse conditions, you can't drive when the weather's bad, you can't go through water. There's so many things that limit that car to one or two specific purposes, speed and track performance, more than anything, Whereas a pickup truck can give you pretty much everything you would want in a day-to-day -day package at roughly the same price, plus all the luxury features that you would get inside of that sports car or inside of that sports sedan or luxury sedan. So the whole point of this video is really to back the people up who say, this is why I bought a pickup truck. You don't have to own a pickup truck because you plan on working. You don't have to own a pickup truck because you plan on hauling rocks. The fact is, that pickup trucks are really what make this country great. It is what allows people to do so much more with a vehicle without having to own a second utility trailer or without having to pull something behind them just to go pick up some lumber at Lowe's or carry something big and heavy. I call pickup trucks on-demand capability. The ability for you to have cargo capacity, payload capacity, towing capacity, the ability for you to have the ability to go through high water, the ability for you to go through rough adverse conditions that no way would you ever feel confident in a car. And to do it in a package that you not only feel confident, but you feel safer in, and generally are gonna have the highest possible resale value in. That is the final topic I wanted to discuss, resale value. There is no car on the road aside from a very, very few vehicles that can hold their value as well as a pickup truck. Pickup trucks hold their value better than any vehicle on the road and I believe that hands down, especially low mileage diesel pickup trucks. If you have a well-maintained low mileage diesel pickup truck, you should be able to retain more value from that vehicle than any other type of vehicle on the road, whether it be a Corvette, whether it be a Lexus, whether it be a Mercedes, a BMW, it doesn't matter. They do that because no matter who buys that vehicle, 
that perceived utility, on-demand utility is always there. When you buy a car, when you buy a sports sedan, when you buy a sports car, there's always the possibility that the next buyer is only gonna buy it for a specific purpose. Whether it be speed, whether it be to haul a family, whether it be just to go to the store to pick up groceries. And because of that, you're limiting your market. With pickup trucks, there are so many reasons why somebody would want one that it makes them more marketable and they sell quicker. So that's one of the reasons why they retain their value so well. There's always a utility purpose to owning a pickup truck regardless of what the price point is on that pickup truck. Anyways, guys, that's the point I wanted to make. Trucks are the best vehicle on the road. Pickup trucks definitely offer more value for your dollar than anything else that's out there. They are better than cars. They are better than SUVs. And quite frankly, I can't think of a reason why somebody wouldn't want to own a pickup truck unless, again, they have a huge family, they need an eight-passenger full-size SUV or a seven-passenger vehicle that they simply can't fit the people in a pickup truck. Uh, I also understand for people who live in cities like New York City or LA or Chicago or downtown areas where they need something smaller that can fit in parking garages, that can maneuver around traffic. And I also understand people who are on the road all the time and they just need something that gets really, really good fuel economy because they don't want to spend a lot of money on gas. Outside of those few reasons, I couldn't understand why somebody wouldn't want to own a pickup truck. That's what makes this country great. Main reason, you can drive a pickup truck and you really aren't going to be criticized for it and it's going to really give you that on-demand utility that you may very well need. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you hadn't had a chance, please subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you soon.